Hello my beautiful Pisces. It is very late Sunday night and I must work tomorrow. Don't tell anybody. I have saved the best for last. I've been a very busy, busy person today. Um, yeah, very luckily I had my first uh, Etsy reading to do. So I'm very happy about that. I just finished that and I feel very empowered. So... Uh, I really wanted to do this reading earlier, but like I said, I got a little waylaid. But there was no way I was not going to do this reading. And I really like doing them late at night because you guys are showing me all the love. The last two videos I put out have been just insanely wonderful. You guys are just, I don't know, you're just there for me. And thank you very much, everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, this is a fa Pisces family. This is where love reigns, okay, for Pisces. This is where we get build our confidence in our lives. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm using cards so that we can all be guided and uh, find our way in this world, okay? So, say hi in the comments. After you've subscribed, say hi. And uh, let me know what you love about being a Pisces. You know what I love about being a Pisces? Is that life is an adventure every single day. So, what are we going to be dealing with in this last week of October, Pisces? This is These are the questions. I'm not going to use this deck first. That's why nothing's coming out, of course. I'm going to be using my mom's deck. Um, my mom has claimed these as spirit. <laughs> Um, not right away, Mom. Too fast, too fast. Um, she has recently crossed over as a spirit, and, um, shortly after I was, uh, inspired to buy this deck with animals on it, which I'm not really an animal person. I'm a rabbit person. I like rabbits. Um, and, um, I don't know. I just got it, and I figured, well... You know, it's got pretty imagery on it. I'll use it. And uh, it quickly indicated to me that it uh, was her and belonged to her. And that she's communicating through it. And it's all pretty. So, not surprising. Um, so, I'm going to be using it today to see what we're going to be dealing with. I'm going to do a four-card spread. Because I feel like it. <laughs> the current situation, challenges, uh or what the situation's going to be, the challenges, message from spirit, and how we're going to deal with it, okay? So, here we go. That one, okay. Current situation, the Ten of Acorns. Ten of Acorns, Responsibility and Dedication. I'm going to show you that. Ah, that's a donkey. Okay, maybe I'm a donkey person too, okay? There you go. That's the current situation. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Let's see. Challenges. The shadow. Ooh. Self-empowerment and ambition. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to do message from spirit. Knight of Shells, Charm and Passion. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. All right, and how we're going to deal with it all. Okay. Let's see how we're going to deal with it all. Okay, this one wanted to come out. The Seven of Feathers. Preparation and resourcefulness. There you go. Oops, there you go. Okay. So we have our four cards. Okay. I do believe the Ten of Acorns is 
uh, the Ten of Wands. Feathers is swords. Shells is cup. And I think the shadow, 15, is that the devil? I do believe it might be the devil. Yes. <laughs> and that's in the challenges position. Let me see if I can find a little book here for this because I really love what it has to say. It says it so tenderly. So let's see. The Ten of Acorns is a current situation, responsibility, and <laughs> dedication. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I, the acorns are uh, wands. So wands is usually a lot of a lot of burdens. Okay, like you feeling a lot of responsibility this week. Okay, trustful donkey carries the willingness to take on responsibilities. He personifies determination and bears a deep spiritual dedication to complete tasks. Yet donkey also knows his boundaries. He's here to remind you that when obligation, obligating yourself to personal endeavors and the demands of others, consider whether you're taking on more than you can handle. When burdened by too many activities at once, perception and creativity can be blocked. No! Energies can be weighed down by overcommitment. Dig yourself out of drudge by setting limitations. Break away from the situations that are detrimental to your health and dedicate time for personal restoration. In clearing away the clutter, you invite a deeper clarity and joy into your life, in turn bringing back your personal power. So there you go. Overload. Overload. Too many things on the go. Let's see if we can clarify, but that's pretty much what that says, right? Yeah. So does the Ten of Wands. So, yeah. Take care not to take too much on there. Make sure to take time to rest and relax. I'm one to speak. Look at me. Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Swords in this deck, when I look at it, she looks very much inside of her head. I feel like I'm going up and down those stairs fine, trying to find clarity and thought. Okay? So this very much feels like a burden card to me here as well. Okay? I know the Ace of Swords doesn't generally mean that, but I feel her brain going on overdrive. Okay? Looking for clarity out of that little peephole. And I think this is where they're talking about losing your creative side because you are so burning the candle at both ends okay so we got to remember this Pisces we can't burn it at both ends we need to take time to rest sometimes it means sacrificing a few things but this is going to be our situation coming up so uh, we have to deal with this this week we're going to have to deal with a lot of stuff coming at us and just you know trying to take the time to rest Okay, so the second card that I'm seeing here, you guys have seen it, I'll put it here, is the shadow, self-empowerment and ambition, 15. Let's see what they say here. This is our challenge, okay? So, it says, Clever Jackal always finds the tools needed to unlock trapped energy. Okay, Jackal is a master of the land of shadows that live within the subconscious. By dancing with his shadow self, he is reborn with new insight and spiritual wisdom. Everyone has a shadow self composed of desires, repressed thoughts, and instincts. It represents the unknown and is necessary to embody the whole true self. Without it, we are fragmented. By accepting all sides of yourself, including anger, in fear, you can master your shadow self instead of letting it control you. The shadow self is a powerful source for creative energy. If it is repressed, the inner fire is extinguished and blockages occur. As a hunter of opportunity, Jackal will guide you in overcoming the illusion of limitations. 
Self-empowerment is born from action combined with expression. So release yourself from creative restrictions. Imagination is the ultimate power. Oh, here we go with the creative restrictions again. So this is going to be a problem this week, Pisces. Some of us are going to be doing way too much, okay? Too much in ambition, too much, doing too much. That's going to be the challenge this week. I can make it's a recurring theme. It's a recurring thing right here. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I need much clarity. These cards are pretty clear. Oh, I hate this one here. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Look at this one. Look. Don't worry about it. What I'm thinking of here is that you're working towards rewards, okay? Your own rewards. You're trying to make things happen so that you get a level of success. However, what's happening is that by blocking your creative flow, Pisces, you're just going to stunt it, okay? So this, you know, you won't you won't be able to have this if you don't get control of this, okay? That's what I'm getting from this card. And not only that, by being too much of this, your fun self is just going to hurt more for it, okay? Cuz we like fun. We're good at fun. We're good at creation, okay? Okay, so Message from Spirit is the Knight of Shells. Okay, so that's uh, charm and passion. And that would be like <laughs> that would be like the Knight of Cups. And he can be he can be a scoundrel, the Knight of Cups. So this should be interesting. It's Flamingo. Mm-hmm. Look at the colors on him. A messenger of love and good news. Flamingo's heart leads the way in helping you to act upon your dreams. Graceful and charming, he's your enthusiastic guide in helping you follow your bliss. Unearth your inner gifts and seize an opportunity. Be receptive to your emotional energies as they will bring your vision to life. As you work towards achieving your ambitions, be open to exploring your passion. Life is a stream of opportunity. Seek new sources of inspiration and remain focused along the way. Okay, so that's a message from Spirit. Remain focused on why you're doing this. You're doing this out of love. All this stuff that you're working at, you're working at to get out of restrictions. You're working to get out of burning a candle at both ends. So if you're doing something and it starts being the same old, same old, you're not going to be, well, you're not going to get out of it. So why would you do that? Okay. Okay. So let's get a clarifier for this one. Please. Okay. The Eight of Swords. That's right. You're not seeing what's going on, and that's what Spirit is saying. Okay? You're repeating the same pattern again. You're doing the same thing as before. Remember why you are doing what you're doing. Okay? If this new passion of yours, person, relationship, uh, career, money, whatever ambition you're going after right now, if it is if it is just making you repeat the same pattern again to get to it, not going not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to end up the same place you were before. Okay, so the outcome or how we're going to handle it, uh, the seven of feathers, preparation and resourcefulness. So that's the Seven of Swords. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Seven of Feathers, I'm sorry. A warrior, Cheetah, knows her strength and masters her natural abilities. Armed with foresight, she responds swiftly with new approaches to any problems. Cheetah guides you in focusing on your goal, helping you reach it with ease and grace. What did I just say? 
Okay. Use your initiative. Yeah, and be prepared to make your move. Keep yourself ahead of the game by closely observing what is going on. With eyes and mind open, dishonest behavior will be relieved. Look revealed, I'm sorry. Look within and study all angles. You instinctively know what steps you need to take to bring forth the best results. So, intuitively listen to yourself when you're feeling a little stressed, a little tired, a little overwhelmed, okay? And that's when you need to make these changes, okay? You need to be the King of Sword here. You need to stop responding with emotion and start responding with intellect, with your head, with your intuition, okay? Take a little less of the, I mean, we're very passionate, but we burn the candle at both ends because we're trying to be overachievers and, and our heart and our emotions and we get so focused and passionate on it that we just start doing things and we overdo it and then it becomes a burden again, okay? We just start going down this path again. So we need to have the King of Swords on our sides this week, okay? we got to prioritize what needs to be prioritized and we have to prepare. This is what this card said. Preparation and resourcefulness, just like the King of Swords. He's always prepared, very intellectual, very smart. A little less emotional, but that's okay. Sometimes you just got to work at it this way, okay? This is a great reading. This is going to be helpful this week, okay? Because I've already got a lot on the go and it's only Sunday night. <laughs> what am I going to do by Friday? So... Okay, these cards and these cards are done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an oracle card. Then I'm going to upload this. Send it all to you guys with love. And then I'm going to go to bed because i got to go to work tomorrow. But I'll be back. I promise that the priorities I will be taking is not for you guys. I will make sure to post a video for you guys because like I said, I don't know. This is my passion. And you guys are my priority. Plus, as I said, the channel doesn't lie. The numbers are going up, and very quickly. So I'd like to thank you for that. If you've liked this reading so far, I invite you to subscribe and click that notification bell to all. That's what I really need you to do. <laughs> I just said not too passionate, but apparently they said, uh, Valiant Courage. Take action with passion. There you go, Pisces, okay? We can't do anything but take action with passion. This is who we are. Just make sure to be prepared when you do, okay? Preparedness and resourcefulness and passion. What can I say? Take care of yourself, Pisces. Have a great week. Take good care of yourself and try to get enough rest. And we got to keep those creative juices flowing, right? Because, well, the world needs it from us. That's who we are and that's what we're here for. Take good care of yourself. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.